What's up YouTube? My name's Anthony and you're watching Unconventional Aquatics. All right, what's going on guys? Uh, let's get into this. This is how I set my canister filters up for uh, maximum performance. This specific model is a Sun Sun 302. Uh, it does not have the UV light. What I'm doing here is uh, before I put any of my trays in, I'm taking some uh, ceramic cylinders, some biomedia, and I'm putting them at the bottom of the canister filter where that little gap is that your tray sits on. Now what this is gonna do is aid in keeping the water from channeling um, it's not a must, but if you have the extra, try it, see if you like it. Um, all right, next thing I'm going to do here is just in my first tray, um, I put my coarse uh, filter foam in, and as you can see, it's down there in the uh, filter already. I kind of messed the video up and forgot to put that clip in, but here we're onto the second tray. I have Pinky's filter foam. That's what I'm putting in on my second stage. Um, if you don't know anything about this stuff, please go check out my previous video on Pinky's filter foam. It's amazing. It's very cheap, and it'll save you tons of money in the long run, and it's a, a great performer. Now, I double stack mine because um, I'm not worried about flow rates. I have several canister filters that run uh, the tank that this filter goes on. so. Yep, I put my pinkies in there, white side down, and I go ahead and insert that. Now for the third stage of this filter, um, as you're about to see here in a second, is I have this stacked with lava rock. Now lava rock, again, if you haven't used this as biomedia, check out my video on it. It is dirt cheap, it is amazing, extremely porous rock, and holds a ton of beneficial bacteria. Now I got a uh, polyester fiber fill. This is simply pillow stuffing. Uh, if you don't know about this trick, um, this is one that's been used in the hobby for a very long time. It is a fantastic water polisher. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, putting it in my tray. This is my final stage. This is the last thing my water is going to hit. And it's just going to filter out all those fine, fine particulates. So I'm going to simply just spread it around roughly for the first part, snap the handle down. and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside of the filter. Making sure it's not clogging up that uh, intake tube. All right, so once it's down, I'm gonna work on uh, spreading it around and uh, tucking it briefly, adding some more in the lighter areas. Um, and that's going to be about it. Once I get this thing uh, completely spread around, I'll go ahead and I uh, will install my lid. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Definitely give it a try. Give it a try. Know that this is going to slow your, fill, uh, your flow rate down quite a bit. Um, well, I wouldn't say quite a bit, but it's going to slow it down more than you're used to. So if you're running this as your sole means of filtration, uh, just know that ahead of time. There's a lot of stuff going on in here, but it's an outstanding way to stack your filter. Thanks for watching.